Hey, what's going on? I'm Apprentice Damon, and in today's video, we're going to do a review on Kroger's Alkaline 9.5 Water. So, let's go and get this poured up, and we are back again <laughs> with another Kroger review because people are asking for it. So, I'm going to hook them up. Oh my gosh, just took off the cap, or the ring rather. So, let's go and get it poured up. We'll see if this does better. Then the spring water. So I'm just gonna rip that off. And we're gonna be comparing it to, I'll get this over. And we're gonna be comparing it to this electrolyzed reduced water. And this should be a better matchup, and we'll see how good of a matchup though, alright? So that first test we're gonna be doing is on antioxidants, and this is the most important test. Of all the tests we're gonna be doing today, and the reason why is because consuming antioxidants, we're able to lower inflammation, reduce that oxidation, and stay looking good, okay? So, in order to test that, we are gonna be using an ORP meter. ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential, and we're testing the potential to reduce oxidation. So we got this meter here from Pinpoint. We're gonna take this wand, same as me, <laughs> same color as my shirt, we're going to put into both of these beverages, and if we get a positive number on this meter, then Pinpoint is saying that it is an oxidizing beverage. If we see a negative number, it shows that it's a strong antioxidant beverage. So, let's see what we get here with Kroger's Alkaline Water. What are we seeing? Seeing a positive 159. This is very slow. It's not like skyrocketing this. This is much lower, I think, than their spring water. It's doing 160 and it's kind of kind of hovering around there, right? But Pinpoint is saying that this is oxidizing. So let's go ahead and see how this electrolyzed reduced water does. And we have that dash, and it is already. A 793, it may even hit 800 by the time we get done, right? So this has that dash, so that means per pinpoint that this is an oxidizing, anti-oxidizing, <laughs> let me get my words right, it's an anti-oxidizing rich water. So if you're curious about why I say this is the most important test, then you want to check out the link or the image I have to the left or right as I share why this is so important for our health, especially when it comes to our drinking water. Check that out, and if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump into that next test. All right, so the second test we're gonna do now is all about alkalinity, and that's probably a big reason why we're drinking alcohol and water, right? So you already know what this is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take pH drops from ion faucet, we're gonna put them into both of the beverages. If we see a red or orange or yellow, that means it is acidic per the drops here. If we see a blue, purple, or dark purple, then that means the drops are saying that it is alkaline. All right, and if we see two alkalines, which I have a feeling we will, we're gonna test that out, all right? So, let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, these are looking a little different. We're getting two different shades here, but they're both looking alkaline. I want to say, this one's closer maybe to a 9. Let me check this. This one's saying it's closer to a 10. This one's closer to like a 9. So, um, but, oh, they're starting to balance out now. But what I want to do is test it, right? Because the whole reason why we're doing apple wine is to battle the acidity, right? And to help neutralize it. So, how strong is it? Best way to test it that I know of that I can do right now is give it acidity and see how well it holds up. So what I'm gonna do is blow into these. If it's a strong alkaline water, it's gonna maintain its color. It's gonna keep battling, it's gonna it's gonna keep battling off the city I give it, it's gonna stain, right? It may drop down a little bit, but it's gonna hold somewhere, right? If it's not that strong, it's gonna turn acidic, which means the acidity is winning, okay? So let's see what happens here with this Kroger's alkaline water. Let me actually grab a different one. Yeah. 
Let's do this. Alright. That was pretty quick, and yet it turned acidic. <laughs> so, right here it says ionized hydration, and it says electro electrolytes added for taste. Alright, uh, and now it says it's purified water with minerals added for taste. So it sounds like the minerals are being added, <laughs> mainly for the taste. If we look here on the back, it says it's purified by reverse osmosis. So reverse osmosis is one of the worst forms of water to have because it rips everything out, the bad the good, and the good, the natural stuff that's here. And then they're adding in potassium hydroxide, calcium chloride, and then magnesium chloride. And that's what's helping it get the 9.5 pH. And because it's added for taste, it sounds like this is really just for show. <laughs> so, nonetheless, that's what's here. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the electrolytes reduced water, though. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so it has not changed, and it's going to take a lot more for it to change, and I'm getting out of breath here, alright? The reason why it is, well, I'll talk about this. I'll talk about the truth about pH. It is a video that is here to the left or to the right of me. But ultimately, what it boils down to is, this is a chemical change, this is a molecular change, alright? So this is a chemical change, so a lot of your doctors will say that having... <laughs> Alkaline water is not good, like it doesn't do anything. There's any benefits, so you can kind of see why, right? Regardless, add the video to the left or right of me. Check that out if you want to learn more and get educated on that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into our next test. Alrighty, on to our third test. This is what I like to call superior hydration. And it's really us getting hydrated at a cellular level, right? Not just it sitting in our stomach and not it just keeping our mouth dry despite all the drinking that we're doing despite having dry lips and cracking skin and all that stuff we want to actually hydrate us to prevent and help i guess work on those things all right so if you've seen the test before you already know how we're doing it but you're probably thinking like why tea and it is because we want to see if the water is actually small enough to pass through the tea bag to make it so if the water is actually small enough without us boiling it, because when we boil the water, that's what we're doing, we're making it small, adding heat, and it's able to pass through tea bag, bring tea. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to try it without the hot water. We're going to do it cold. And that's going to represent it getting to our cells and hydrating us. Okay? So, let's take the Kroger's alkaline water. We're going to fill it up to right about there. We're going to do the same thing for the electrolyzed reduced water. Not that add too much. And they're about the same. All right. Then we're going to give them 10 ducks. We're going to see what happens here, all right? General one shows tea, if they if either of them do. We'll kind of show which one's better at hydrating us, all right? Let's get it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here's how it's looking right now. <laughs> We're barely seeing anything from the Kroger's alkaline water, while the electrolyzed reduced water is actually showing a T. We're, we're starting to see a little bit of T here. It's pretty light. And it's crazy because this says it's ionized. So normally when something is ionized, it's actually able to at least match up on this test, which is pretty interesting. But let's take both of these and put them into separate cups and see if maybe it changes when I just pour the water in. All right. Okay, so looks like we're getting a little something, maybe. I think it's looking the same as other bottled waters, really, to be honest. Looking about the same. And then when we try it here with electrolyzed abuse water, we're getting a dark tea, which is pretty crazy, right? 
And you're thinking like, what? Like, there's a thing between, there's a thing like big water, small water? Absolutely. So, I can't, can't believe this. And so it's not really, it's not really the bottle stuff that's working, <laughs> okay? There's tea in these, it's just the wrong water, it's too big, okay? So, you want to learn the magic to this test? Guess what? I have, you guessed it, another video. It's to the left or right. Check that out if you want to learn more about this. In the meantime, let's go ahead and do a quick recap of Kroger's Alkaline Water. All right, so we tested Kroger's Alkaline 9.5 water for three things. First one was antioxidants. And we saw it was oxidizing, I think, lower than the spring water of theirs. Um, I think that Nation probably worked out a lot for that spring water or hurt it more. But this is sitting around like 160, I think. While the electrolyzed reduced water was showing a very strong negative number, I want to say in the negative 700s. Uh, the second test we did was on alkalinity. We put the pH drops from Ion Faucet into both of these beverages and they both showed up alkaline. So I tested them. I gave them some acidity. I wanted to see how strong they are at holding up and battling that acidity. And this turned alkaline, or not alkaline, turned acidic real quick, okay? Um, and then we kind of saw that was done through reverse osmosis, right? While the electrolyzed reduced water maintained its alkaline, maintained that color. So that shows it's able to fight the city much longer. Last test we did, superior hydration. We want to get hydrated at a cellular level, right? And when we did this test, we weren't seeing much from the Kroger's alkaline water until we poured a little bit of this in it. And then we started to see a tea come up which shows that this is much better at hydrating, all right? Now, that concludes this test. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you're serious about improving the quality of your water, because you're already buying alkaline, right? You're just not consuming, you may not be consuming the best alkaline, but you're already spending the extra money for alkaline. I highly recommend you check out the masterclass and learn about this electrolyzer reduced water. You'll learn about this, all the other kinds of water and so much more. So check that out it is the first pinned comment below this video. There's a link there. Check it out. All right. Thanks for watching this. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next video.